Hi guys and thank you for watching ASFN Fishing. Okay, now this week's topic is to make a really effective dangle when targeting edible fish, your kingfish species in summer, hammerheads, um, grey sharks as well as cob. A very, very effective dangle to use with a circle hook. You can even use it with a j-hook. And in this case I'm using a piece of polystyrene that you buy from any of the foam shops or hobby shops. You can also use a shad bung and shape it accordingly. It gives you that additional flotation to create a lot of movement in the water, lift your bait up and create a nice little rugby ball bait. Now to shape this, I'm just going to use uh, the 100 grit sandpaper, sand it on the edges accordingly into a rugby ball shape and then rig it from there. All right, then after sanding it, it comes out like a little uh, rugby ball. I just shape it with my fingers. What's nice about the styrofoam is you can uh, still push it in and make it a bit more dense. So it gets the exact shape of the bait you want to tie. It's a nice little rugby ball bait. Then what I'm using is piano wire, American Fishing Wire piano wire number 15, which I've just got a little uh, jig to thread stuff through, which works for me. Okay, and then one of the Kingfisher, it's a rubber bead, works very nice in my opinion. And that I'll just stick over there as well. And then available at most tackle shops, just your old Dacron um, braid that uh, I use for my dangles. I specifically use it, look, when there's big shad around or sometimes with the sharks, they do bite them off and you can lose it, but it's occasionally. The whole thing of this is I don't want to use additional like uh, carbon coated steel for the dangle. If you're targeting edibles or you're targeting cob, I do feel uh, it, it gives me a bit of an advantage using braided cord. All right, and then the most difficult part is getting it through the bead. And then through the styrofoam, whoop. Okay. And then you can add another bead on the other side. Okay. There we go. And then these little welded rings you buy in the tackle shops. This is a small one. You can get them slightly bigger just to ensure that your sinker unhooks when you're casting if you're using that method. And then there, definitely a figure of eight. If you just use like surgeon's knots, they do pull loose in the casting eventually, where a figure of eight pulls onto itself, but it won't pull loose. Okay. Keep the tag in short. Okay, now just clip that uh, the braided cord. Nice and short, and somewhere I've got a lighter which I haven't taken out yet, and that just obviously you don't want it to unravel there. Just burn it, push your bead down. Push your foam down, your other bead, and then yeah, what I do, make a double surgeons, and put it at the length I want it to hang under my hook. Okay, here we go. That knot, pull it tight. Clip that off. Just sort that piece out. That's done. And there's your dangle. Okay. Now how I would fit this onto my circle hook is I just split it with the tip of the circle hook. In the middle. Push it through the middle. 
and sometimes it's a little tough getting it over the ball not in this case and there you go guys now let's untie this using the kingfisher cast clips onto your sinker You'll tie your bait onto the dangle, hook your sinker, and it will cast a mile. This is a really nifty little uh, little way of making a dangle, especially when you're targeting fish that likes a lot of movement and wants a bit of height on the bait, like your gray sharks, your hammerheads, your cob, your kingies, your small summer edible species will all go for that. And trust me, no flatfish will swim past that in the water. All right, if you want to see this trace, this is the general, advisable summer general trace you can use for pretty much everything. The 7x7 seven seven wire making it uh, a very versatile trace that edibles won't drop it when they pick it up. Yet if you're a grey shark, a hammer or a big shad has to pick you up, you won't lose your hook, you won't be bitten off. And all flatfish will pick this up. So a really good general trace. Have a look in below for the link to that trace that uh, we published last week. So yes guys, have a look at the new videos we're going to load. I'm going to tie some, uh, some baits that go very well with this particular dangle. So have a look for the next uh, bait demo that's coming up that will be tied onto this. A bait, uh, I'm going to do a chocker bait first, which is perfect. Comes from bit, uh, quite a bit of it from Linton. Gave me some really nice tips on that, which I really enjoy. And I'll share that with you guys. So make sure you have a look at the next one. It's for cob specifically. Um, grey sharks, your flatfish, um, hammerheads, it's all the species that won't leave that bait. So catch us next week, make sure you subscribe to our channel, make sure you push that notification button and please like the video if you can. Thanks guys. Bye.